Well, hello there, Vicky. What a lovely way to start. My name is Karen Hollenbach. I'm going to wait till we're right on 12.30 to get started. Uh, thank you for those who are joining me today for how to create a content marketing strategy for LinkedIn. Now, I'd like to begin this live LinkedIn, LinkedIn live event and free online event by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land where I am delivering the online event today, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and pay my respects to elders past and present. So hello, Mr. Elias. I'm so glad you could all join me today. If you're watching this broadcast replay, you can also ask questions in the comments. Hello, hello to everyone who's joining us. For those who are live, I will attend to your questions at the end. So I'm loving seeing some familiar faces there tuning in. I'm glad that you're here too, Tanji. So let's get started. So if we have not met before, here's a little bit of a little bit of that official stuff about what you can find out uh, about me as a professional. Importantly, my focus these days is helping quieter and more thoughtful folk be heard and get found. I've certainly found since COVID, there's a lot of very loud voices on LinkedIn. So we're gonna help you navigate LinkedIn more comfortably today by showing you how to be more strategic and potentially also apply some intellectual rigor. So hello, hello, there's some beautiful faces there I can see tuning in. So you can read that slide, you can see what I'm all about. Importantly, I'm also a digital minimalist, so we can have a deeper conversation if we meet in real life or you can DM me via messaging to talk about that more. And I'm a gardener, so I have picked this for you today. I wish you could smell, smell it, it's from my garden. So tell me, yes, no, in the comments, are you a lavender person or not? I feel like lavender's like coriander. You might be a lavender person, you may not be a lavender person. So there's a little bit more about me. I am the creator of LinkedIn Profile Essentials. I'm also the mentor for the LinkedIn Marketing Mentoring Program, which is Think Bespoke's flagship program to help you navigate LinkedIn. So if anyone's got, what's a digital minimalist? I will respond to that in a lot more detail after the live session. Effectively, I love tech. I've got my Apple Watch. I've never been more active since I got it. Um, it's about leveraging tech to help you reach your big goals in life. And it's corralling it. It's taking control of it and making sure it's serving you and you're not serving it. So uh, some love lavenders. I've got an absolutely yes, excellent. So before anyone gives you any insights into how to navigate LinkedIn, whether it's me or anybody else, I think you need to know what's inside my heart, what I believe. And I'd like to thank Wai Ying, who's with uh, me here today, for encouraging me to um, share these sorts of insights with you. So I really do believe in completion over perfection. So I'm going to share a lot of insights with you today, and they might feel overwhelming, and that's okay. Go away, think about it, reflect on it, journal about it, discuss it with your team and other leaders of your business or your partners or your inner circle, your five people that you're the average of, and think about what you can be implementing today. Don't try to do the whole thing. Take some bite-sized chunks from what I share with you. I also believe in helping over selling, and that's a really important part of how I navigate LinkedIn. I believe in the longer game. So if you're looking for a silver bullet and you want to implement a content marketing strategy that's going to get bums on seats to an event, in six weeks. I'm sorry, this is probably the wrong training for you. So my training in developing a LinkedIn content marketing, I've just got a um, someone saying they can't see the slide. I can't see the session. Can other people see the slide? Can you just confirm that you can actually see the slide? Can I just get a yes in the confirmation? Because people are saying I can't see the session. Can I just get a yes? I'm pausing for a moment. There's a little bit of a delay in comments. So I'll just wait to see if people can see the session. Can you see my slides? I'm pausing for a moment just to make sure you can see the slides. I might put a different layout in. Is that any better? Can you see the slides? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. I just pause for a moment. I got distracted by the chat. All right, so the longer game. So really what I'm talking about with a content marketing strategy, thank you everyone. What I'm talking about with a content marketing strategy is building reputation over time on LinkedIn. So that's the longer game. 
I also believe in serving the reader and the viewer than the algorithm. So there are some fantastic resources on LinkedIn and everyone loves talking about the algorithm, but let's treat humans like humans and serve up good quality content first. Of course, I believe in content marketing because that's what we're talking about today. It's an inbound strategy. Uh, I also believe in profitable business for good. And I wholeheartedly believe in the power of reading. So if you're tuning in from Australia today and you're registered to vote, this is what I'm currently reading. It's the Voice to Parliament Handbook written by Thomas Mayo and Kerry O'Brien. And if you or the people around you would like to make an informed and educated decision about how to vote in the referen referendum, upcoming referendum in Australia, I highly encourage you to read this book. So let's get into it. We're going to talk about why you need a content marketing strategy, five key questions you need to ask yourself in regard to putting that content marketing strategy together, which talks about four key steps. I'm going to give you some insider tips. I'm going to give you some teasers about thought leadership via profiles. I could run a two hour session on that. So we've only got 30 minutes. I'm going to cover as much as I can in the time that we have. And then at the end, if you want to stay on, I'll be sharing some information about how you can work with me and there's an open forum for questions. Now, importantly about the questions, put your question in to the comments. If I don't answer it live, I will come back and answer it for you. If it's really detailed, I might also DM, uh, DM you. Um, I'll write the title of the book later on, Edwina. I just saw you message um, that in the chat. I'll put it in later on. The Voice to Parliament Handbook. All right, so why do you even need a content marketing strategy? Well, here's a a snapshot summary. So it helps you clarify your goals for LinkedIn. So as a digital minimalist, I will only spend time on a platform. It, it's going to serve my bigger goals in life. So depending on what your role is in your organization, you might be responsible for the LinkedIn presence of your organization. You might be a small business, you might be a freelance, you might be a consultant, you might be HR, you might be a recruiter, you might be none of the above and something else. Whatever your purpose is for being on LinkedIn. Think about your goals. Why are you here? Don't just use it because your peers use it. So we will dive into that in more detail. So you might be here to talk about a content marketing strategy for your profile. You might be here for the company page. You might be here for both. Importantly, it helps you maximize your time on LinkedIn. So we are busy professionals. We shouldn't be spending all of our time on screens. We should be having human contact with our peers, our colleagues, our clients. So we want to maximize the amount of time we are spending on LinkedIn. LinkedIn and having a content marketing strategy on LinkedIn, importantly, the most important thing, helps build your reputation. So what you want to be doing with a well thought out, intellectually rigorous content marketing strategy is reminding connections and followers to refer you. So this is a step I see a lot of people miss. They move into this transactional mode and they forget to actually inform support collaborate with their powerful LinkedIn community who could be actively referring them. And that's certainly how I use LinkedIn. And I can see a lot of you are here with me today who are active refer referrers of me, and I will be forever grateful for that. Importantly, if I don't know much about you, but a trusted client has recommended your services of your organization or you as an individual to me, then you should be thinking about how your content marketing strategy helps reduce risk in the decision makers buying process as they help assess if you and your organization are for them. And then finally, and most importantly, because this is a professional networking platform, it's not social media. The rules of engagement are different. It's a community. So having a content marketing strategy helps you create opportunities for conversation starters, which is the cornerstone of my focus for my LinkedIn marketing mentoring program. Maxine, I will return to that book and I will put it in comments later on. So here are the, I love that there's a discussion about the voice in the, in the chat. That's fantastic. So the five questions we're going to explore today and that you should be asking yourself are, what is yours or your organization's focus for LinkedIn? So why are you there? Is there a particular client group? If you're a recruiter, is it about clients? Is it about candidates, your content marketing strategy? If you are HR, is it about the head of people and culture? Is it about becoming an employer of choice? So make a decision about why you are on LinkedIn and ruthlessly focus 
on using this technology to help you achieve those goals? Do you have a documented content marketing strategy and content plan for LinkedIn? Write it down, get it out of your head. And I will introduce a brand new playbook that I have put together that you can use to help you do that. Are you consistently showing up on LinkedIn? Now, importantly, I'm not saying posting content on LinkedIn. I'm saying, are you consistently showing up on LinkedIn? So rituals are everything. Spending time on LinkedIn is everything, not just posting. Do you have weekly and monthly LinkedIn networking, sales, marketing, and content rituals for your business development and marketing team? And are you a prolific content creator so are you treating it like instagram or maybe other more social media platforms and sort of creating a lot of content posting a lot sending a lot of emails and not getting a lot of traction well that could be because you need to shift towards being a strategic content curator on linkedin so we're going to explore that and a lot more so four really simple steps that i'm going to walk you through in the context of your content marketing strategy so you may have noticed I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions that I want you to go away and think about. So if you've registered for this, you will be able to watch the replay. Um, this is not a cookie cutter approach. There is no cookie cutter approach to LinkedIn. This is a strategic marketing, a content marketing framework to help you maximize the most powerful professional networking platform in the universe. No, it's not the universe in the, in the world. So the first thing is know your focus for LinkedIn. And here are some notes I might have prepared earlier to talk to you about what knowing your focus means. I'll then talk you through what having a manageable plan means, what being consistent and what following LinkedIn rituals means. And I'm just keeping an eye on the time. So here are some examples of what knowing your focus means to develop your content marketing strategy. You've got pre-existing goals based on pre-existing marketing and sales plan. So your content marketing strategy is not your marketing plan. It is the amplification of your marketing plan. You've got a clear idea of your ideal client fo focus and you should be doing your research on LinkedIn at the people you want to influence and get into conversations with on LinkedIn. Take the time to do that research. Set specific goals. What are you trying to achieve on LinkedIn? Do you want to build awareness of your brand and services? Do you want to establish your thought leadership? Good idea. This is how CEOs make decisions about working with organizations? Do you want to become the go-to for your specific subject matter expertise in your industry, potentially also known as thought leadership? Or do you want to grow your following, which I wholeheartedly believe is a vanity metric. Um, and I have been um, heard saying before, having a lot of followers on something like Instagram is like being rich in monopoly. So I'm interested in the quality of your followers. Are you thinking about your referral communities? Do you know your content pillars? What are the conversations you, your organization wants to lead, start or contribute to? So I've got a question there. Can you access the slides? I haven't decided yet. I'll let you know. I'll probably prepare another piece of content that will have the slides in it. And we're gonna talk about repurposing content soon. So good question. All right, so that's what you need to think about in terms of your focus for LinkedIn. Now, what does having a manageable plan mean? Well, um, we need to post more on LinkedIn is not a plan. So a manageable plan recognizes your focus and helps you clarify what you can do well. So are you doing company page posting? Are you doing profile posting? Are you doing both? Have you thought about what the difference is? Is it the same content that you're posting? And what I find with Think Bespoke's clients is that manageable plans are often in phases. So what I want you to think about is, how's your LinkedIn real estate looking? Is your company page and your team's profiles representing the story that you're trying to tell and the ideal clients you wish to engage with? So I'll fly through the thought leadership features and you probably need to as a result of today, do a bit of an audit and have a think about whether they're representing the best version of you. So you might wanna review and refresh your assets. Decide, decide on your cornerstone content. So for Think Bespoke, my LinkedIn Lives that I've done twice this year are my cornerstone content. So that question about the slides, you will see a version of this in different iterations over time. So what is your version of that? Decide on your mix of content. So this is all part of having a manageable plan. Owned, 
curated and promotional. You can't just spit out work with us content. That's not how content marketing works. Decide on your posting frequency. Decide on your posting scheduling tools. Will you be using LinkedIn? You should be. Or third-party scheduling tools. Did you even know that you can now schedule posts within your LinkedIn profile and LinkedIn company page? And importantly, because that's a long list, and the point here is about having a manageable plan, do not try to do it all and do what you do do well. So do less well. The uh, third part is being consistent. So what does this mean in the context of your content marketing strategy? So if you've agreed on a posting frequency, stick to it for at least three months and then evaluate its effectiveness. Spend time on LinkedIn responding to comments, reposts and messages. So don't just put content out there, but engage as a community member on the platform. Document your posting plan in Excel to track the times you post. Review your LinkedIn analytics to inform future content plans. So this is all part of being consistent. It's not just showing up, it's also returning, and then it's also looking at how your content performed. And if you've agreed on a monthly LinkedIn newsletter as a team, or you've decided you're going to do that because you already have a very popular email marketing plan, good plan, put the systems and schedule in place to make sure you deliver a high quality newsletter every single month. And if you've decided to run regular LinkedIn live events like you're attending today, map the dates for the next 12 months, test your streaming software and research the best way to run these. So what I'm suggesting is the implementation of your plan is important in terms of your consistent focus on doing less well and really thinking through how you're going to show up on LinkedIn in the way you have promised via your content marketing strategy, your documented plan, your profiles and your page. And then how you do this so you're not spending your whole life on LinkedIn is to follow LinkedIn rituals. So when I talk about rituals, I'm talking about systemizing your procedures for networking and sales rituals on LinkedIn and to know the opportunities for conversation starters based on the traffic that you will be creating to your profile and page with the increased activity as a result of your content marketing plan and your strategy in place. Systemize your marketing and content rituals for your LinkedIn posting plan and use the scheduling tools, analytics and marketing features to maximize your time on LinkedIn. There are so many free marketing features available to you via LinkedIn. You need to be using the ones that are right for you. And remember, as I've said before, LinkedIn is a professional community and the opportunity is to start conversations with potential clients and community members. So your content marketing strategy needs to include community management. So someone responsible for seeing what happens after you've posted and also involve your client facing team members. So if you've got an outsource solution manage, managing your LinkedIn company page, you also need to have a client facing person on that company page looking for opportunities to grow your followers in a targeted way with people who are relevant to the conversations you want to be having on LinkedIn. So I hope that all makes sense to you. It's a lot to digest, but it's definitely a starting point. All right, so here are some what I'm calling in. So, I, so I've got a question there. I've said I'm not going to um, answer questions, but I'm using StreamYard right now. I've got the paid version. I find it very effective. Um, I've used it before. It's been slightly glitchy, but generally I find it's really good. So here are some insider LinkedIn tips to save you time and headspace. So this is really answering that last question around if you are posting, um, if you're the person responsible, responsible for the LinkedIn, your organization's LinkedIn presence, or you're driving all your conversations via your LinkedIn profile, here are some key things I want you to think about. So the first thing is to really curate your LinkedIn newsfeed to follow key content sources. Now, recently, LinkedIn has made this so easy for you. So if you have, not, if you only take one thing out of today and you have not done this step, it will be an absolute game changer for you. And I expect you to send me a LinkedIn message in the following few weeks after you've done it to say, thank you very much, Karen, that has changed my LinkedIn user experience. So I want you to think about based on your focus and your plan, the content that you're curating on LinkedIn, because you shouldn't just be posting 
content that your organisation or you have created, you should also be including other authoritative content sources. So you should be following them. So if you operate in the financial industry, for example, you should be following the regulatory bodies. If you operate in the recruitment industry, you should be following organisations like the RCSA. If you operate in the superannuation industry, etc. Uh, if, you, if you're a lawyer, you should be following lawyers weekly. So think about the authoritative sources in your community. Are you following them on LinkedIn? So you can follow company pages, you can follow individuals, and you might not realise this, but if you go into the intro card, so the top section of that page, in the top right-hand side of the intro card of the person or the company page, ring the bell, you can be notified about the posts. So please take the time to do that. Now, if you're the, the person responsible for your content plan, you should be going through as a ritual, a content and marketing ritual, these authoritative sources on a regular basis, once a week, once a fortnight, saving them. So when you go back to implement your content marketing plan based on your content marketing strategy, half the work is done. And LinkedIn is making that so much easier for you now. The next thing I want you to think about in inside a tip is repurpose your marketing collateral. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, your LinkedIn content marketing strategy is not your sales and marketing plan. So what are you doing outside of LinkedIn in owned digital assets? So what's on your website in terms of blogs, case studies, testimonials? Are you doing email marketing? Are you building a list? I highly encourage you to do that. Yes, I am a big advocate of LinkedIn newsletters as well, but I want you to own your own lists and I want you to own your own email marketing if you have the capacity to do it. That only applies to you if that's manageable. So what else are you doing? Company newsletter, you should be repurposing a ver version of it as the company page newsletter. Regular blogs, are you repurposing them via your key leaders as LinkedIn articles. Event photography, do you nominate a photographer at all events and then repurp repurpose those photos the following few weeks? Do you have team events? Are you showcasing that in terms of what sort of a place you are like to work? If your goal is to become an employer of choice, team photos, showing what it's like to work where you are is critical. I can see a big chat going on, which I'm going to ignore until I return uh, to the comments after I've delivered today. So have a think about what you could be using there. I also love Google reviews and LinkedIn uh, recommendations to repurpose the beautiful visuals that you can brand in your content plan to show evidence uh, that you are a first choice in your area of expertise, in your service that you provide. And then finally, and I've mentioned this a couple of times in the context of rituals, is you really need to nominate a LinkedIn go-to person. So this is the person who manages the plan, the posting, the community management, and if you've set up any lead gen forms, which is a free feature via the company page. So you can see having a content marketing strategy is so much more than just what you're going to post on LinkedIn each week. Okay, so thought leadership via profiles. This is something I promised you. And there's a lot here. When I looked back as to what I was going to share with you in this event, I thought, wow, I really, I'm going to share a lot with you. So I'll recap at the end. I can just see a question there. Oh, someone, someone's answering the question for me. That's fabulous. So I think um, what you may or may not realise is that LinkedIn's made heaps of changes over the last two years. I heard someone say the other day, or I read somewhere that there's been a hundred changes uh, this year alone. So I will put a resource into the comments. There's a guy um, called Kevin D. Turner out of the US who has a, a, a comment feed that he basically keeps up to date with all the changes that are happening. So I'll do that um, for you separately. But importantly, I want you to take a second look at your LinkedIn profile and make sure that you are leveraging all of the key sections that allow you to showcase uh, your subject matter expertise. So I've highlighted a lot of them here. So uh, the headline you have, I think it's up to 220 characters now to talk about yourself. So give people a sense of what you do. My shift to really focusing in in the last 12 months or so to helping elevate the voices of quieter and more thoughtful folk really resonates with my ideal clients. I did that um, in response to really thinking about who we do our best work with and also in line 
um, with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So we've lined up to SDG4. So happy to have more of a chat to you about that. Um, so really use your headline as an opportunity to showcase some of your values and what you care about. Your images are really important. They should be consistent with your website. I have finally updated my profile photo. I made the decision about 18 months ago uh, to go back to my natural hair color. Um, so I've updated my photos, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, and then you've got create a mode where you can get the individualized uh, link there. I mean, some premium members are also now getting that link and it's also where you can highlight your focus. So I do have digital minimalism in there and I will share more information in the comments. After this live event, to, um, I'll point you to Cal Newport, who's written a book about digital minimalism. So the other two areas where you can really showcase your thought leadership features, so your subject matter expertise, what you're going to post content about, what you're going to join conversations about. I follow the digital minimalism hashtag as an example. I follow the thought leadership hashtag as an example. It's not just about the content that I'm creating. Um, so what I do in the about section is let people know, look, by the way, if you want to know more about these things, then have a look at the, fe the featured section of my LinkedIn profile and find out more. So with um, thought leadership in your LinkedIn profile, you really want to answer the question, well, when people come to my profile, what do I want them to do as a result of coming to my profile? So I'm just going to zip through this section because there's a few things I'm going to show you at the end and do a bit of a summary. But with your featured section, what you need to consider are the key things that you want people to do. What action do you want them to take? And so I've put them here in order of the things I think are the best. Um, and I think the newsletter is great. If you've got capacity to do that, remember point two, make sure it's a manageable plan. It encourages subscribers. So if you go to my LinkedIn profile now, don't go this minute, go after the live session. You can subscribe to my regular newsletter. Um, that's also an opportunity from your company page that you can do that. And then you can get your sales team to follow up with your subscribers if they're not first degree connections. Um, having a high value opt-in. So if you have an opt-in for your email marketing, consider putting that there. So lots of suggestions. There are some key ways you can highlight and create action from your LinkedIn profile. Now, I'm going to have a look at any final questions that I can answer. Before I do, I'm going to show you a really cool feature associated with the LinkedIn Live, which could be a content uh, pillar that you could Sorry, it could be a content feature that you're thinking about using. So you can see along the bottom here, I've been showing you all the way through um, encouraging you to sign up to my e-insight. So you can see that as the banner at the bottom. And now I'm clicking over to showing you more about some of my programs. So I have a LinkedIn marketing mentoring program. It runs over five months. The next one, enrollments close at the end of this month. So there is no rush. But if you would like to have a chat about your suitability for this program, do book an intro chat and we can talk about it. It includes my content marketing strategy playbook, a proven framework and support and access to me via private LinkedIn group for five months. So if now is the right time for you to transform your organization's LinkedIn presence and become the go-to and upskill in LinkedIn, then do have a look at this program. I'm happy to have a chat to you further. I also run tailored LinkedIn training and consulting. So, of course, I can talk to you about developing a content marketing strategy. I can do the basics and introduction to maximizing LinkedIn. Uh, we can talk about how to establish thought leadership on LinkedIn. A lot of people who are joining me here today have um, enjoyed some of my training. So thank you. It's great to see you attending here live today. Um, and then finally, to put this all together, I've, it occurred to me that I should develop a content marketing strategy playbook. So that is available via the website. It's uh, there to purchase. So have a look at that. It's a Google Doc that you can make your own and it is incredibly comprehensive and goes into a lot more detail um, then I've gone in today about those four key action points and how to work with your stakeholders to build a plan. So that's it from me today. We've looked at why you need a content marketing strategy, the five key questions, including the four key steps, insider tips. I've given you some insight on thought leadership via profiles. There's some hints about how you can work with me 
or maybe you just got lots of value out of today's session, I hope that's certainly the case. Also go and visit our website and do sign up for my e-insights to stay informed about LinkedIn. Um, if you want to ring my bell of my profile, make sure you go over to Karen Hollenbach and ring the bell to get all updates from me. Scroll down, you can also subscribe to my newsletter. And there's Think Bespoke's company page if you are responsible for your organization's content marketing strategy for LinkedIn. If you're the admin on the company page, if you're the head of HR, if you're the L&D person, please make sure you are following that page for regular updates. So that's it for me in terms of the live component of this training. I'm going to end the broadcast now. Um, sorry, I'm going to end the broadcast in a couple of minutes. I'm going to give you the opportunity before I end the broadcast to put your questions in the comments. So put any question that you have as a result of uh, what you've just heard. If you're attending live today, please put that in the comments and I will return to them over the next little while and respond. So I'll keep it open. Thank you, lovely June. Thank you, Tracy. I'm just enjoying the goodbyes from everyone. You're very welcome, Cynthia. I've loved seeing you all here. Thank you, Zarafina. Uh, thank you, Shibanshi. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, Sonia. Any suggestions? Yes, I will uh, return to these comments. Thank you, everyone. So put your thank yous in there. I think put your thank yous in there. Put your questions in there. I really appreciate the thank yous um, from my part of the world to yours. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you all for attending live. And for those watching the broadcast replay, you should also be able to put comments uh, as you're watching this. If you can't, please direct message me on LinkedIn and I will get back to you. Be patient with me. We've had over 600 and 46 people register for this event. So I will make my way through your comments and questions as soon as possible. Until next time, everybody, thanks for joining me live.